To not be a fast follower to get with the times, Korea is gearing up to make some aggressive changes to the corporate landscape. With job losses looking inevitable in the process, the finance minister has also pledged stronger social welfare services. Hwang ji reports. One out of four listed companies in Korea are unable to cover interest payments on their debt with their operating profits. These firms are called zombie companies that manage to stay afloat on cheap state loans. What's more alarming is that many of them are the country's major players in the industries of shipbuilding steel as well as shipping that had over the decades led Korea's exponential economic growth. But along with their sagging performance, Korea's exports have dropped for over a year, stoking concerns that the country might fall into a continual cycle of low growth. Growth in the 2 percent range is what you see in advanced economies like the U.S. If Korea's pace of expansion dips to that level, it will never be able to close the gap on those countries. That's why we need a growth rate of at least 3 percent. But with most institutions at home and abroad expecting Korea to fall short of its 3 percent range target, calls are growing for the government to take further action. Finance Minister Yu Iro, in contrast to his predecessor Choi Kyung Han, has pledged to boost investment and create jobs by improving conditions on the supply side. The government will go over plans to promote mergers and acquisitions among large companies, while the Financial Services Commission has expanded the list of firms it will examine to determine if they're in need of a shakeup. Concrete plans for corporate restructuring will be introduced as early as next week. Pundits do not expect the task to be easy, especially with the country's labor unions widely expected to oppose the inevitable job losses in the process. On that, Minister Yu says the government will look into separate measures to shore up the social safety net and strengthen communication with the opposition parties. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.